Hi students, coming to the next uh, scheduling algorithm that is the shortest job first algorithm. So what is the shortest job first algorithm? So it is the best approach to minimize the waiting time. So if you observe the first come first serve there the waiting time is getting more when if you take the different different pattern of the process. So here the shortest job first it is the best approach to minimize waiting time. And also it selects the waiting process with the smallest execution time to execute next. So the name itself is indicating it is a shortest job first. So that's why it's taking the smallest execution time to execute the next. It selects the waiting process with the smallest execution time to execute next to execute next let us take the example for this shortest job first so i am taking the uh, process here i am taking the four process p1 p2 p3 p4 and coming to the burst time burst time that is the cpu is uh, executing that process the control the cpu is uh, controlling that process so that time is for p1 6 p2 8 p3 7 p4 3 so here the term shortest job first so which is the shortest job first in this all those things so here the CPU is taking only 3 for process P4 the burst time of the CPU is only 3. So first ex execute the CPU is execute the process P4 0 3. Next it has to be execute P1. So 3 plus 6 that is the 9. Okay 3 plus 6 9. Next which process P3. So, the P3 burst time is 7. So, 9 plus 7, you will get 16. And the last is P2. So, P2 is uh, 16 plus 8, you will get 24. Okay. So, then what is the total average time for this? The average time. Average time is equal to. 3 plus 16 plus 9 plus 0 by 4. So, you will get 7. So, that is how you have to calculate the shortest job first. So, it is a simple thing. You have to select the shortest job first. So, this is the first and you have to select second, third and the fourth. So, just select those process and just add the burst time to that process to know the waiting times if you know the waiting times of all the process then you can calculate the or average waiting time of that process so here you can come across some disadvantages what are the disadvantages if you use the shortest job first here the total execution time of job must be known before must be known before execution so you have to know how much time it is going to be executed so in the before uh, before the execution only so while it is not possible while it is not possible to perfectly predict the execution time so for all the programs it is not possible to uh, predict what correct execution time of each process so if you know the execution time of each process then only you can calculate the shortest job first that shortest job that can you take first but it is not possible uh, for all the programs you can't predict the correct exact execution time for all the process so that's why this is the main the disadvantage of using the shortest job first uh, is this is the only disadvantage
थैंक यू